Good morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog channel finally literally it feels like such a long time since I've actually picked up my camera and actually vlogged I know I uploaded a video the other day where we read out our New Year's resolutions basically did the little job New Year's resolutions thing that's the last thing I uploaded on this channel in fact that's the last YouTube video I uploaded since December which is crazy to me it is now the 16th of January I've had a solid two weeks off of YouTube and not actually posting anything online on my vlog channel on my main channel I've been using Instagram and Twitter and stuff however I've not picked up my camera and the reason for that being is I did mention this however I don't know if you've watched the vlogs if this is the first vlog you're watching or if you're just not caught up or you don't remember I basically am in my final year of uni I now officially have one project left to do and then I graduate I am handing in today it's my hand in day I am handing in my dissertation piece today I didn't really start it until super super late on as in like January time I had an idea of what I was gonna do and like had my essay question written by like October but November however I didn't actually start it until January which is really really stupid of me and I have been massively stressed for the past two weeks so I said to myself right I know it's a new year and I said I want to daily vlog as much as possible and I know I want to do all this stuff however my dissertation right now is what's most important so I prioritized that and just said I'm not going to upload not going to even think about uploading any content or filming any content so my camera has literally been on my bedside table not doing anything collecting dust and every morning I've been like oh my god I want to pick it up or whenever I've been out and done something or bought something then I've been like oh my god I need to tell my vlog and then I realized I'm not actually vlogging but hi everyone I'm back I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading vlogs right now just because I don't really have anything too exciting coming up yet the end of January is literally so slow for me right now it is anyway I don't know if I'm going to be working on things like I've got a bunch of meetings and stuff I literally put everything on hold for my dissertation so I've got a bunch of meetings and stuff next week to catch me up and like brief me off the rest of the year and do all that stuff so then I'll know a bit more about what I'm doing and when I'm doing it however right now I need to get up make myself some breakfast I want to show you a few bits I've changed my room around and stuff as I do every single week apparently but I'm going to show you that I have got some new homeware bits that I wanted to show you and yeah I've also got some clothes that I want to show you I'm just going to get up make myself some breakfast make my bed and then I also need to actually submit my work I need to put it in like the final document make sure everything's like proofread and stuff read through it all one more time and then submit it and then it's done and it's gone and I've only got one more project left and then I'm going to start that <laughs> some salmon and eggs now it doesn't look too appetizing but this is what i've been having every single morning i don't know about you guys but i've really been trying to focus on not my new year's resolutions but mm, i guess it sort of is new year's resolutions i said to myself this year i was going to try and make a conscious effort to eat more maybe work out from time to time you know i've actually done a workout like an at home like little shitty workout um every day since the start of the year which has been really good actually like I hated it at first and I've missed three days of doing it however I feel like I've got myself into the routine of doing it now like at first it was super super hard to try and do and like fit in and then I was like oh my god shit I've not done it and I forgot to do it but I feel like I've been really really good at actually getting it done doing it and doing it actually not like half arsely as well I've also been eating a lot more that was literally, literally my main goal of this year was to put on weight and I figured out if I calorie count as in I know exactly what to eat in a day to hit the calories that I need to hit and the protein levels and stuff I just figured it all out basically I wrote myself a little diet of I say a little diet I just know what I've got to eat and when I've got to eat it and what type of foods I've got to eat even if I go out I know what type of foods I've got to be looking for whilst I'm out so like if I'm going out for lunch or whatever so yeah your boy's working on it I don't know if I've actually put on any weight yet like I said it's only been like 16 days and I did fuck up for like three of those it's not been a long time yet it's not even been a month yet but I I'm excited to go home where I have weighing scales and actually weigh myself. I really hate, this is one thing I hate, I don't know what else to have for my breakfast that has enough protein in it that I can have it for breakfast. Uh, this is just quick, easy. It doesn't taste great. But it's also not awful, you know, so. We just uploaded my dissertation, just had probably the most stressful two hours of my entire life. Because it won't work on my laptop, so we're using Fryers. And also, I, I just really have real struggles. Clutch, you know, it really does come in clutch. Working. And now it's taking forever to upload because everyone else is uploading because the hand-in is in 45 minutes. 40 minutes until the deadline is over and I just realised I've fucked something up. What is this? Oh, this is my work. Hi. Right, so we're just going to have to repeat them processes again in a second, Freya. Um, because I realised I left a sub I've submitted. It's over. It's not for me. You, you 
you should be able to do it with our phone name. Yeah, but you're gonna have to. Hi, mom. Yes, I'm going to fucking play. Yes, we've done it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ah! Handing is done. Summer's here. Summer's here. Summer's <laughs> here. Handing done and summer's here. Summer vacay starts now. Hey love, so can I just take a few details before we get started? Sure. I need your name, address and how old you are. So my name is Freya, I live at um, and I am 25 years old. And so do you believe you've got chlamydia then? Is that why you're here? I believe I'm very itchy down there and I just need confirmation of what it is. I don't know if it is actually chlamydia or I just, I just need some confirmation really. Perfect, so mm -hmm. just as a few regular... It can be crabs. Just, like, just as uh, a few precautions, we've got to play yeah. this quick video that gives you a brief explanation of what you're going to do. Okay. It's called Love Island. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to watch it now. And this is going to help my chlamydia or...? This is just going to help me catch the up on my The official food episode. of the greatest. <laughs> I haven't seen them before. Oh, I watched that last night, Freya. Was it good? No, not okay. really happens. So I've literally not filmed anything since saying me and Freya were going to watch Love Island. It is now 10 past 11 and I have been dressed. I'm now back in how I started this vlog. And I'm going to have to continue it tomorrow because I've hardly filmed anything. We're now just laying in the kitchen on FaceTime to Anna. Um, has just made a new rule that she don't want to be on camera anymore. I'm not playing this game, Aaron. My roommates are so I'm fucking rude. Christy. I'm trying to be a daily vlogger and this is what I deal with. Are you paying me for this content? Well, yeah, when I get rich. <laughs> That'll be literally 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, shut the fuck up because yours has bad connection, so you've got bad Wi Fi, aka poor. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. I'm whispering because it is currently 9am and everyone's still asleep but I have a unit and I'm going to uni. So I'm all dressed and ready. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these really cool trousers actually which are from ASOS. I meant to show you these yesterday when I said I've got things to show you. These were one of them. One of the things that I meant to show you that I bought. These some really cool like padded tracksuit bottoms. Uh, I then just have a black hoodie on, my white beanie, my white shoes. I'm going to put on a jacket, grab my bag and then I'm going to head to uni. I'm leaving my bed unmade because I'm going to come back and get in my bed and do work from my bed today because I didn't want to get up this morning still don't want to be up good morning everyone it is friday today i don't know why i had in my head yesterday i did a workout last night and i was like you know what it's the last workout because i don't do it on a weekend so like it's the last workout i'm gonna do this i did like an like, extreme apps workout as well and i'm like oh woke up this morning had you in there it's not actually the weekend so i've got another day of working out before i have two days off um anyway i'm up bright and early this morning heading into you now i haven't been in in a while, not gonna lie. It's my first time in in a while. This dissertation, honestly, has killed me off. In fact, it's the first time I've been in this year. And I know we're only like 17 days in, but I haven't been into you now, just because I've been writing this stupid dissertation. I'm going in today, so I woke up right early this morning. I would say I had a nice sleep, but I kept having the weirdest dreams. I had a dream like my dog got like shoulder surgery or some weird shit. <laughs> Why is that disruptive? Stop! Right, I literally just got back from uni now. I didn't film anything apart from Emily, I believe. Just stood in the class kicking the chairs around. But obviously I didn't film anything because we had lectures. We had a guest lecture in, which was really interesting. I was so tired. Like, I actually was falling asleep in class. And also my lecturer came over to me, just like to see how I was and we were sat chatting. He's like, you look really tired. I like, yeah, the dissertation really just stressed me out. He's like, oh, it's all right anyway. You won't ever use your grades in industry. So I'm like, oh, that's always great. He's like, don't worry, just aim for a pass. As long as you pass, you don't have to do it again. Uni's done, and I was like, ah, well, that's always great considering he just briefed us on our final major project after telling me my grade doesn't actually matter, which I knew, like, in a creative space, they don't take everything I'm saying for, like, everything I'm saying is correct. However, I realised in a creative industry, if you can show that you have a strong body of work and are actually talented and good at what you do, then I really don't think a grade on a paper can define whether or not you're good at it. Like, especially in a creative subject, that if you're a fucking phenomenal drawer, if you are incredible at sculptures or an incredible photographer not in my case but like in this situation i think your work speaks volumes over what you get in a, like a exam or like
like a module of work. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that anyway, but then being told it by a lecturer, it's kind of good because it puts me at ease and just lets me feel like I can be as creative as possible with this final project and just like enjoy it as much as I can without having to worry about getting a great grade, which will effectively give, give me a good grade anyway. Like if I enjoy it and like put my all into it, then I'll get a good grade out of it anyway. However, it sort of put me at ease a little bit more knowing that I won't have to stress too much. Well, I will st still stress a lot, but I mean I won't stress about the actual final grade of it. I'll just stress about the quality of the work that I'm producing. And that being said, it did kind of kick me in the teeth a little because I've been so stressed about my dissertation. And then he just turned around and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> really, that's what he said to me. So I was like, alright, I text my mum saying, my lecturer just told me my dissertation grade means absolutely nothing and my grade that I'm going to get in uni also means nothing. So, and she put, I love him because my mum's always said that. My mum's always told me to work hard, but realistically, if you can show that you've got the attributes and the skills and the personality and everything to go along side, a grade, don't really matter. That being said, I'm going to still try hard. So mum, if you're watching this, I'm going to still try hard and get a good grade, obviously. More for you, so, than for me. I'm now really motivated to do my actual uni work, however, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of editing to catch up on. Just made my bed as well while doing that. Very good. Multitasking. For people who said boys can't multitask, eat your heart out, bitch. I just made my bed whilst vlogging. Right, everyone, I haven't updated you in a little while because I <gasps> am apparently shit at multitasking, even though I said this morning, I'm amazing at multitasking, made my bed while vlogging. I just filmed a main channel video and I haven't actually updated you and it is now 4 p.m. How did that happen? I sat on my laptop after I made my breakfast. I say my breakfast, it was more like a lunch because it was like half 12, 1 p.m. Uh, at that point, but I then sat on my laptop and just did some editing work. I also created like the, um, the research journal for my new project. I've just been doing a lot of stuff and I also filmed a video and I'm back into the swing of things. I feel productive. I feel like I'm getting my shit together. 2020 is not the year for messing around, boys and girls. I'm on it. I'm trying to get a good body, trying to get my career rolling, trying to get my shit together. And I'm feeling pumped about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. Freya's not back from uni yet and I'm confused as to where the fuck she is. She went to uni this morning and it's now 4 p.m. and this bitch is not back. Like, no one has a lecture this long, or at least at our uni, that's unheard of, you know? So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe Freya would wanna go to the cinema or something, because I'm down for that, but I don't know if there's any films I wanna watch actually. Oh my god, we went to the cinema the other day, me, Anna, Josh, Haz, and Freya, and we watched the new Jumanji film. Really sort of disappointing by the way. I didn't actually want to go and see it I didn't like the last one, so I don't know why I went and watched it But we went and watched it and Freya literally took her dressing gown in an Urban Outfitters bag and changed into her fucking pajamas in the cinema I had my big coat on I had a big fluffy jacket on tracksuit bottoms on but I'm really feeling that vibe right now I'm feeling a really cozy evening. I'm gonna watch Love Island later. Oh my god Let me know actually your favorite people on Love Island I think right now Connor and Sophie for me are the couple that I think are gonna potentially get the furthest but then again, I really like Shauna. I think Shauna's really nice. I need to make myself some dinner. So I'm gonna do that and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got so much editing work to do and I should edit the video I just filmed actually. Just to get in front with that. I'm waiting on feedback from a brand video that I just sent over. So it's been like 45 minutes since I last picked up my camera and I am still laid on my bed. I've just been making TikToks, watching TikToks and now I'm watching everyone at Paris Fashion Week and just wishing I were there. Right, I really ought to get out my bed. See your face and you look so sexy. You really turn me on, blow my mind every time I see your face. I've eaten really bad today. I have only had one meal and it is already the evening time. <laughs> I can't wait till it starts to get lighter again in like the evening because it's literally like five o'clock and this is how dark it is. Kind of sad about it, not gonna lie. I wanna go on holiday. Hello? Oh my god, do you wanna book me a mysterious holiday getaway for two? Oh my god, perfect. Who's the other person? Harry Styles, no way, that is so crazy. I don't know what to have to eat. I think I've got something wrong with me. Why did I just do that? Anyway, cheers.
I'm what the French would call les dumb, where it said I were gonna go into the kitchen, make some dinner, and I did exactly that. However, I've eaten my dinner, the plate is now on my floor empty because I have eaten it without picking up my camera. This is what happens when you don't vlog for a couple of weeks, you forget to even pick up your camera when doing anything like eating. I'm currently sat in bed watching a Stacey Dooley documentary actually. She basically has a documentary series where she goes and stays around people's houses, and there's a Sakoni Jolie episode, so I thought I would watch it. And I'm watching it, I'm literally like, oh my god, I'm 33 minutes into it. But that's what I've been doing whilst eating my dinner, I didn't pick up my camera, so I love that for me. I'm such a good vlogger. I just wanted to let you know. Keep you with the times, you know, sign of the times and all that. I'm honestly so dumb. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but I literally just woke up from a nap. Um, I fell asleep. I started editing a main channel video and then I sort of just like, you know what, I'm bored of it. I cut it all up and just started adding music and stuff. And then I got bored of doing that. So then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to lay on my phone. And then I fell asleep. And now here I am. <sighs> Ella rang like half an hour ago saying she's actually coming. So Ella's going to be arriving in a couple of hours. And yes, I've only had my dinner today. I was meant to have a snack. I'm basically doing this certain diet to try and put on weight. I have not stuck to it really good at all today so I need to eat quite a bit before bed and it's now like half past eight in the evening. I've also been the worst vlogger ever which is really annoying because I want to get back into it. This whole vlog so far is literally just me saying that I'm tired and that I'm hungry and that I'm going to make food which is really annoying. So I'm actually going to go make food and stop being tired hopefully. I don't know why I'm so tired. I think it's because I got up a little bit earlier than usual. I didn't have much sleep last night. Like, so I'm gonna, you know, you go get some food, all that stuff. I could have done with gone to Tesco's. I might go to Tesco's on the way back from meeting Ella at Westfields, actually. So I've got to meet Ella at Westfields later on. Can't be going to sleep too soon. Also, I don't know if I mentioned in yesterday's part of the vlog, I said I wanted to show you some new homeware bits that I got. This is a lovely little pillow that I bought from H&M Home. H&M Home is honestly my favourite place for homeware. I thought Urban Outfitters were good, but H&M Home is even better, so I picked up this pillowcase. It's like not the best material in the world, like you definitely wouldn't sleep on it. It's definitely just a little scar cushion for decoration, but I think it looks really, really cool with my whole room aesthetic right now. And it also is like the same texture as my rug, so that's fun. <laughs> So, oh my god, that's so loud. I'm literally under a tunnel, it's so loud. It's midnight and I'm outside, as you can see. Ella's literally just arrived. She parks the car in Westfield whenever she comes and stays at ours. Just because it's literally the closest car park. But I don't really know how to get to her because I can't go in Westfield because it's literally midnight. So I can't physically get into Westfield. And she's underground in the car park and I don't know where she's going to come out. So I don't know what to do. I'm sort of just wandering around but I look so suspicious that I'm literally walking around with my hood off. I know that I look like a suspicious person but I just look like I'm loitering around Westfield at midnight when it's closed. And there's literally no one here. So I just look really fucking peculiar. But I'm going to wait for her. I told her to go to the John Lewis exit which is where I am. And I don't see her anywhere. And I'll still have fun not working because she's underground so this is just amazing hopefully i find ella at some point if not then i'll just be wandering around here on my own but it's a nice evening actually i've just had my music in and i walked to westfields on my own it was just really really nice felt like i was gonna get murdered a couple of times but besides that it was a really nice walk it's a really nice it's cold like a super cold evening but i've wrapped up got a big hoodie on and i'm like you know what this is kind of fun i'm enjoying this but now i'm just gonna wait on my own like a weirdo and hopefully the security don't come over and question me because i'll panic and then i will look suspicious right it's been like 10 minutes since I last picked up my camera. Ella's still nowhere to be seen. I don't know what to do now. My AirPods have died. So I'm literally just sat here in silence. And also, I realise it looks like I'm doing a drug deal. Like, because I've got my hood up, I've got a big coat on and stuff. I don't look like a drug dealer. But it looks like I'm sat waiting for someone to drop off drugs or something to me. And the staff in Westfields up on the balcony like the security people in the glass can see me where I'm sat and they keep coming over, talking to each other and looking down at me. Um, so I don't really know what to do about it and I don't know where Ella is, I can't get in touch with her because her phone's got no signal, which means she's still in the car park. Right, nine hours later, she's finally arrived, actual take of the piss, she got outside and went, oh it's cold isn't it? And I've just been sat outside for the past half an hour waiting for Ella to hurry up and arrive. She basically lost her car as soon as she parked it, so that was fun. Anyway, we're heading back home now. I've got quesadillas waiting for me at home as well. They just arrived as I were leaving. I've come home to a lovely quesadilla from Taco Bell, just warmed it up in the microwave. It doesn't look that appetizing on camera, not gonna lie, but I'm really excited to eat this. It's my new like thing at the minute to order quesadillas. 